Hey everybody, welcome to FabFit Friday. I am so excited to be back. I was traveling um, two, weekends a row, two weekends in a row, so I had to cancel FabFit Friday two weekends in a row. And quite honestly, that made me very sad because I miss you guys. And I'm going to sort of update you on a bunch of things today. I'm super excited. Hey Debbie. Debbie, it's just you and me. Um, I got on a couple minutes late. Oh, here's Diane. Hi, Diane. Of course, on my most exciting FabFit Friday days, something happens, like my audio needs a tweak before it will start working or something happens. I do have good news about my audio. Sometimes it comes a little bit low, so my husband's actually going to attach a something from the ceiling so my microphone hangs down closer to the front of my face which I think it'll still be out of camera view but I think I'll be louder than trying to use it where it is. So I'm kind of excited about that. Um, oh, hi Julie. Julie's having a lunch break and turning in for the first time in quite a while. Well Julie, let me tell you, we have something super exciting today so I'm glad you're joining me. Um, if you guys have been following along, you know that I'm having a celebration for reaching 25,000 subscribers here on my YouTube channel, and I'm doing a few giveaways. And actually, I'm super excited because giveaway number two is going to be a subscription box from my friend Debbie Gray and Cool Stitches. And Debbie Gray is in the house, so... If anybody has any questions about the cool stitches, um, the cool stitches subscription box, please just chat in the in the um, you know put your questions in the chat and I'll read them out to Debbie just to make sure she hears what's happening. And I do want to, um, oops, sorry, I want to congratulate Melinda Ashley. She was the winner of um, the first giveaway, which was a 40 by 70 inch cutting mat from the great, um, from the Big Mat Rotary Cutting Surface Company. And I will tell you, I love these mats because if I can't kill them, you can't kill them. So Melinda won that and we're gonna kick off the second giveaway Oh, let me just say hi. Sonia, hi. Welcome. Oh, Debbie says congratulations. And Diane says, what a nice gift. Debbie offers wonderful program. Hi, Andrea. Andrea, I think it was your birthday last week. I think that showed up in my notifications on Facebook, and I, I apologize for not wishing you a happy birthday earlier. So happy birthday to Andrea. Um, all right, so what I'm going to do is... I am going to talk about the subscription box for a quick second. I, oh, hi, Jolene, finally got you live. Just love watching you. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for joining me. This is sort of a little bit of a, um, um, a menagerie of topics. I'm going to talk about the Cool Stitches subscription box. I'm going to talk about my new shacket pattern or my shirt jacket pattern, and I'm going to talk about a new class I'm going to be doing for pattern review. Oh, Andrea's, <laughs> Andrea's birthday's not till September. All right, it wasn't you, I'm sorry. But anyway, I'm sending you good vibrations and happiness. Um, oh my God, my husband just commented, Miss Stern, please turn the volume up. <laughs> I'm talking... Right here's my my see my nice um, microphone, honey. I got it right here. I'm talking right to it. Honestly, Ugh. I really don't know how to do that. All right, so I'm just gonna talk really loud. I'm sorry. Um, all right, so getting back to the subscription box, Debbie from Cool Stitches is giving away one of her wonderful subscription boxes. And I have to apologize, I did not get the picture on the, well, let me see if I can get the picture.
sorry. I'm sorry. I'm getting the... What? Um... All right, so I disappeared, I know. I lost my picture. I thought I had it loaded onto my Instagram. This is turning into a nightmare. I am so sorry here. Scene three. Oh, let me see if I can add the pic, pic image. Add existing image. All right, obviously, I'm so sorry. I can't show the picture, however, it is, um, there is a link in the description below this video, and if you click on the link, you can see all of Debbie's um, offerings, plus the box is going to be for a knit top. And here's the cool thing about Debbie's boxes. Everything you need to make the garment or the project come in the box, including the thread. So you can um, enter to win this as soon as I get off this live sh oh the picture did show briefly see I'm sorry I totally blew it um, let me just see something here I'm just gonna go to cool stitches cool stitches I'm gonna shop there's more than one way to skin a cat here And I'm gonna oh. hold on. Uh, let me go to my email. So I'm going to Debbie's email, and I'm gonna click on the link for the Love to Sew box. And boom, I can show it to you this way. So let me just switch my view. Here. Okay, yay. So now, as soon as I get off of this very disorganized FabFit Friday, I'm going to launch a post on my Instagram and my business Facebook page. To enter to win the subscription box, you need to follow Debbie's Instagram at, at Cool Stitches, and you need to comment under the post for an entry. And then my wonderful social media manager will pick a random winner um, next Thursday. So you'll have until Wednesday the 26th to enter, and then the winner will be announced on Thursday. And then on Friday during FabFit Friday, when I have an organized FabFit Friday next week, I will announce the next giveaway, which is also super exciting. So we have three giveaways to go before the grand prize. And I have to tell you, the grand prize is shaping up to be amazing. So super excited about that. And I just want to thank everybody for putting up with my technical issue with the photo. Um, hi, Jerry. Welcome. Hi, Jolene. I'd like to know more about the boxes. They sound fun. Jolene, there's a link to Debbie Gray's boxes in the description below this video. So you can check them all out um, and make sure you enter to win the Love to Sew box where you'll make a knit top Um it comes with everything, including the fabric and the thread. So I wish everybody luck to win that. So that's my little exciting thing about the giveaway. The next thing I want to talk about is my new pattern. Um, I finally launched my shirt jacket pattern, AKA the shacket. And I've been working on this pattern in the background for a long time. And I didn't really post as much about it as I did my Frenchy jeans because Honestly, it was an easier process than um, the Frenchie jeans. Oh, Andrea wants to know, do all prizes deal with Instagram? Um, well, you can enter on Instagram or you can enter on my J Stern Designs business page on Facebook. So you don't have to enter on Instagram, but if you want to enter twice, you can enter on my Facebook page and my Instagram page, and each of those entries will be counted um, or put in the basket for the drawing. So that's up to you if you want to do Instagram 
or Instagram and Facebook or just Facebook. Um, let's see what else is happening here. Um, Diane says they are fun, merry, cool stitches offers of, of various selections. There are, there's not only is there a love to sew box, which is, um, garment based, but there's also totes or organizers and bags. There's a J Stern design series of boxes and there's some other things on there too. So definitely click the link below to see all the fun you can do with Debbie's um, subscription boxes. And if Debbie wants to comment about anything that I haven't mentioned, she can comment and I'll, I'll make sure I read that out to you. Okay, so um, all right, so now what we're going to do is switch gears. I'm going to talk about the shirt jacket pattern. One funny story, well, it's funny now, it wasn't funny at the time, but during the process of making my shirt jacket, I tested it a few different times, and then I decided I would try to test one for myself. So I cut out the size large, I put it on, and it was doing something really creepy around the arm, and um, I... I kind of snapped because you know when you're working on a long project and then you hit a, rump, a bump in the road and like you freak out well that's really what happened so I crumpled up my pattern sheets put them in the recycle bin and I started to like second guess myself in terms of my pattern grading or I thought I screwed something up because I didn't expect it to fit me the way it fit however I woke up the next morning and I thought to myself, why didn't you just try the next biggest size? So I did. And guess what? It fit perfectly and that gives me um, extra insight into how to pick out a size. So let me show you that next. Let me just stop and say hi to Diane Zimmerman from New York. I'm not going to try to pronounce the town you live in, um, but welcome. Um, this is my shirt jacket pattern right here. And what I want to show you here is, this is a loose fitting unisex shirt pattern. And basically I've just sewn together the front, back and sleeve to test the fit of the pattern. Um, Alaya would like to know what's today's project. Today's project is announcing the second giveaway in my celebration for 25,000 subscribers. It's going to be a cool Stitches subscription box. You can click the link below to check out all of Debbie's offerings on that. And you can um, enter on my Instagram or Facebook. You just have to wait for me to get done streaming and post the, the picture of the Love to Sew box. So you can comment there and go ahead and like um, Cool Stitches Instagram page. That's how you can enter. But you can check out everything at um, that Debbie offers at Cool Stitches in the link below the video. Now I'm talking about my new shirt jacket pattern. Um, and you can see here, this is the size extra large. And I just want to explain what was happening when the large did not fit me was because my measurement on my high bust was equal to the pattern. So it was a little bit too snug. So the fabric was bunching up like it wouldn't hang smoothly from my shoulder on the side like it's doing now. So you can see the fit of it, if you pick out the right size, works out. Um, if anybody is new to my channel, this is my ditto form. And when I tell you that this baby is my exact body, it's it's spot on. So I don't have to like put things on to show you if it's a top because I can just put it on my ditto form and then show you. Now you'll notice that my plaid matches perfectly. So I wanted to give you a, a quick tip. If you're making a cardigan or if you're making, it really doesn't matter. It could be the back and front of your top, especially if the back has a center back seam as well. The way I got my plaid to match perfectly like this was I laid my fabric down. I folded it with the plaid face out. I checked to make sure the plaid stripes were matching on the salvage edges and then I put my center front pattern piece on the fold cut it out after I cut it out 
I s took my sharp scissors and I just slit or cut the fold and I ended up with a left and right front that matched perfectly because I cut it out all at once on the fold. So nothing was shifting, everything lined up perfectly. You can do that for the front and the back, you know, especially if you have a center back seam. Hi, Diane, welcome. So this is the shirt jacket pattern. It features a collar with collar stand, which I do not have on here yet, and a cuff with a continuous placket. There are little side vents at the bottom of the side seams, and you'll be able to hem both left and right front and back hems separately, so it makes it very easy to do the hem. And then you press your seam allowances open on the side seam to create the vent and you top stitch them open and you have a vent at the hem. So this is a unisex pattern. It's from size two extra small to four extra large. If you're making it for yourself and you're a woman, you're gonna use your high bust measurement. And this is where I'm kind of glad I had that little snafu when I tried to make one for myself. Um, if you look at the size chart, you're gonna pick a size that's an inch or two bigger than your high bust measurement and that will give you enough ease for the fabric to hang nicely off of your shoulder. If you're making it for a, a man, you're just gonna use the full bust or chest measurements, and I have both of those measurements on the size chart. This is, um, this is flannel. I've made it out of fleece, I've made it out of flannel. I think any soft, drapey um, fabric will work. Um, I'm gonna be making a corduroy version in the class. So that is my next, um, this is my next, oh, it must be Diane Day. <laughs> There's three Dianes now. Um, Diane, Dianes, I, two of the Dianes, Diane Bacon and Diane Fetters, actually had the chance to meet each other because they were in the same state together at one point. Um, and the third Diane Zimmerman lives in New York State. Maybe you could have a summit of the Dianes at some point. <laughs> I love that you guys had a chance to meet each other. Um, all right, so um, flannel fleece, soft like chambray denim. Um, and again, I'm going to try a soft corduroy when I make a, a, my next sample. I'm going to be teaching this class on April, I think it's 19th and 26th for Twins and Needles. And I will put the link to that class in the description below. Let me see here. Let me just double check the dates. Yep, the 19th and the 26th from 5.30 to 7 Eastern Standard Time. So that class will be mostly focused on making sure you pick out the right size We'll do some simple pattern adjustments to um, adjust the length, the neckline, the length of the sleeve, and then the rest of the class is going to be focused on shirt construction. So I'm going to show you how to construct a collar with collar stand, a button placket, a continuous placket for the sleeve vent, and a cuff. So that's what we, we will be doing, and if you want to join me for the Twins and Needles class in April, um, the PDF version of this pattern will be included with your registration and they will send you a coupon code for that. If you prefer the printed version, there is a coupon code for 25% off. So it's on sale that way. And over the weekend, I'll be writing a newsletter to you know, announce the all of this stuff I'm sharing here. Um, so if you missed it, you know, I'll have it in print in my newsletter, probably Monday. So that's my shirt jacket class. Super excited about that. Um, and my little tip for matching your stripes. And then the last thing I want to talk about today is a new class I'm going to be teaching on PatternReview.com next Saturday. And it's going to be a Zoom... What am I saying next Saturday? Let me see, hold on, make sure. Oh, I have so many things going on, I have to write everything down or I forget. So I am teaching the um, 
I am teaching the cover stitch pillow on the 23rd of March from 3 to 4.30. And if you guys have sergers and you haven't done a lot with your cover hem, this is the perfect class to get yourself in gear for cover hem. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to switch my view here. One, let's go here. Okay, so here I have the pillow that we'll be making in class. Oops. And you can see, I'm going to blow out, let me blow out the lighting so you can really see what's going on here. All right, so we're going to work with the four different versions of the cover hem stitch. So I'm going to show you how to do a chain stitch, a narrow cover hem, a wide cover hem over here, and then a triple co cover hem over here. And basically this is going to give you the opportunity to um, <laughs> my Dianes are all posting very fun emojis. I love you guys. <laughs> um, um, all right, back to this pillow. I'm going to have troubleshooting tips for um, fixing your tension if your, you know, if your tension is screwed up on your cover hem, I'm gonna, I have tips for that. Um, we're going to practice using different threads to get this really cool decorative look um, on squares of fabric. And then afterward, you can sew the squares together and make it into a pillow. Um, one way that I made this a sort of a, a recycle reuse project, I cut out all of the pieces for this pillow from an old pair of men's jeans. And in the back, there is a, you know, a little opening so you can stick your pillow form in there. And you can see that I ran out of yardage in my jeans, so it doesn't quite close. So I'll make sure that you have enough overlap so when you put your, your pillow form in there, it will work. But the, the detailed instructions for this class come with registration, and I will have a link to this class in the... Um, description below as well. So that's all the fun that's happening here at J Stern Designs. Um, let me just show you, now that I've announced everything, let me just go back and show you some of the pattern pieces from the shacket. So you can see here, here is the sleeve. This is the size extra large. Um, and then you can also see here that these are very crumpled because remember I took them out of the recycle bin to um, took them out of the recycle bin to make the extra light large after I freaked out that it didn't fit. Um, it's pretty long. It's like tunic length. So one of the things we'll do is lengthen or shorten it to be the length, the hem, the length you want. And Lena is asking if it's longer in the back. It is not longer in the back, but it, that is a that is an adjustment that we can make very easily. So if you want to create more of a, um, a curved hem, or because there's a vent, you can see right here, these stop sew dots are for the vent. Another cool thing that we can do is we can actually lengthen the back and have an uneven hem. So if you want to make your back longer and your front shorter, you can do that because the vent will allow you to make an uneven hem um, or you can make a shaped hem. So I will be sharing that in the first class along with some easy fitting things that you might need to do. Oh, Mary says to put a couple snaps in the back of the pillow. I will. I'm going to snap that sucker right up. <laughs> um, my, I finished making it at my parents' house um, a week ago, and my mom really liked it, so I left it there, and I snagged it back with me yesterday to bring it back here. Um, okay, so I can definitely fix that, but the instructions and the dimensions in the instructions for that pillow include enough overlap where that will not happen. Um, all right, so... So as you can see, those are the simple pieces. The nice thing about this is there's no bust start for you to worry about the position. It's loose fitting 
so it's easy to fit. We just want to make sure we get all the vertical um, lengths correct so you don't look like you're swimming in it. And um, like I said, I'm going to be focusing on shirt construction. So if you think you've been, you know, if you've been thinking about making a button down shirt and the idea of that is a little bit overwhelming, um, then this would be the perfect class for you because I have a bunch of tips and tricks for, you know, making the collar, the collar stand, making it look nice when you sew it to the neckline, all of this stuff. So, um, that's going to be a fun class. And I'm sure I'll also be sharing some of those things in here with you as well. Um, all right. So Diana, Diane Zimmerman says, or instead of a form use filler, I could do that too. And then Debbie Gray suggests, um, Velcro. So she uses strips and dots for everything. Velcro is a good idea too. So I will be doing something to close that pillow and I appreciate everybody's, um, ideas on that. I was really trying to get all of my fabric out of one pair of jeans. If I had not been stubborn and introduced a second pair of jeans, I would have had enough fabric for the overlap. Um, but in any case, those are all the things that I'm doing. Um, I'm very sorry that I don't have a actual like topic to sew with you today. It's been a week of catching up. Um, you know, plus I've been spending a bunch of time at my parents this week. So it's been a, um, it's been a long, crazy week. So, um, I will be in action next Friday showing you a technique. We'll be sewing something next week. I apologize. We're not going to sew today, but, um, I just wanted to get all of this information out to you and just connect back with you. Cause I really did miss you guys last week and the week before. So I was thinking about you while I was traveling and, um, I really appreciate you all checking in with me and, you know, joining me for these FabFit Fridays. So if people don't have questions, I am going to duck back out so I can post the, um, the love to sew box on my Instagram and Facebook page so people can enter the giveaway and I will see you on Tuesday for another Fit Tip Tuesday. And actually, Fit Tip Tuesday is going to be about a bus start. I got um, a comment and a question from one of my subscribers about the position of the bus start and how it affects the fit of shirts. So I'm going to be talking about how to get that bus start in the right spot on Tuesday during Fit Tip Tuesday. Um, oh, Debbie says, love our time with you. Well, thank you, Debbie. <laughs> um, so that will be Fit Tip Tuesday, and then next Friday I will have a full featured Fab Fit Friday with a sewing topic. So um, I'll probably announce that a little bit early in the group. All right, so basically that's my report for now. I'm really happy to be home, and I'm almost caught up with everything that kind of slid while I was traveling for two weekends back to back. So I will be back in full action next week, but I really enjoy happy that I got the chance to come on and say hi to everybody and tell you about the next giveaway. And I just want to take a minute and thank Debbie Gray because she is so generous to offer one of her amazing cool stitches subscription boxes as a giveaway. So thank you, Debbie. And I wish everybody luck. Good luck. Everybody enter. Um, and my wonderful social media manager will pick a random winner. So um, that'll be our excitement for next week. And then next Friday, in addition to an active sewing project, I will announce the third giveaway. Um, and then I think next week there'll be two giveaways. They're related, but we broke it into two. And then the following week, to cap off the celebration, I will talk to you about our fabulous grand prize. So that's all I'm going to say. Um, so thank you so much for joining me today. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend or weekend starts now. Let's go. I could use a little bit of a break. Um, and thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you again very, very soon.